Welcome to Thayer School's 2013 Investiture Ceremony. I'm Joe Helbley, I'm the Dean of the Thayer School of Engineering, and it's my distinct honor and privilege to lead this ceremony today. At commencement exercises tomorrow, the Thayer School will award 178 degrees. This includes 100 Bachelor of Engineering degrees, an all-time record. 51 Master of Engineering Management degrees. An all-time record. Six Master of Science degrees. And 21 Doctor of Philosophy degrees. Also an all-time record. In addition, tomorrow Dartmouth will award 96 Bachelor of Arts degrees, also an all-time record in the 150-year history of the Thayer School of Engineering. <laughs> Today we will confer hoods on our BE, MEM, and MS candidates, and caps on our doctoral candidates. The hoods are edged in orange because in academic regalia, orange denotes the discipline of engineering. Before we begin, I'd like to take a moment to introduce our platform group and marshals who are assembled here before you today. On my immediate right is Dr. Subra Suresh, the director of the U.S. National Science Foundation and the president-elect of Carnegie Mellon University. Dr. Suresh is our speaker today, and I will introduce him more formally later in the program. To his right, we have Ian Baker, the Senior Associate Dean for Academic Affairs and the Sherman Fairchild Professor of Engineering. Alex Hartoff, Thayer School Class of 1988 and 1991, Professor of Engineering and Director of the MS and PhD programs. Robert Graves, the John H. Cradiel Senior Professor for Emerging Technologies and the Director of our MEM program. And Erlen Schulzen, the George Austin College and Distinguished Professor of Engineering and Chair of the Engineering Sciences Department. On my left, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> on my left, on my immediate left, we have John Replogle, Dartmouth Class of 1988, Chief Executive Officer and President of Seventh Generation, Dartmouth trustee and Dartmouth representative to the Thayer School Board of Overseers. Peggy Epstein Tanner, Dartmouth class of 1979, chair of the Board of Seeds of Peace and member of the Dartmouth Board of Trustees. James Coulter, Dartmouth class of 1982, AB in Engineering Sciences, a founding partner of TPG Capital and vice chair of the Dartmouth Board of Trustees. Barry McLean, Dartmouth Class of 1960, Thayer School Class of 1961, President and CEO of McLean Fogg Company, Dartmouth Trustee Emeritus, and former Chair of the Thayer School Board of Overseers. Mr. Terrence McGuire, Thayer School Class of 1982, Co-Founder and Managing General Partner of Polaris Venture Partners, and Chair of the Thayer School Board of Overseers. Brent Bilger, Dartmouth Class of 1980, Thayer School Class of 1981, Vice President of Solutions Architecture at Vitter, and member of the Thayer School Board of Overseers. And Christopher Gaw, Dartmouth Class of 1978, Engineering Sciences major, Chairman and CEO of Forum Energy Technologies, and member of the Thayer School Board of Overseers. I'd also like to recognize our faculty marshal, Mr. Peter Roby, Assistant Professor of Engineering, and our student marshals, Sharon Biswas, Dartmouth Class of 2012, Thayer 2013, and Joseph Zabin Zabinski, Thayer MEM Class of 2013. And finally, it's my pleasure to welcome this distinguished group here today and to welcome each and every one of you in the audience. Parents, husbands, wives, brothers, sisters, and other family and friends who have played a critical role in helping today's graduates, each and every one of you, reach this critical milestone. 
And I would also ask that we take a moment to remember those who cannot be with us today. And in particular, ask that we keep in our thoughts a member of our Dartmouth student community whose family suffered a very tragic loss this week, as well as all of those students and families who have lost loved ones recently. It is now my privilege and pleasure to welcome Jar Dartmouth trustee John Replogle to the podium. John is the chief executive officer and president of Seventh Generation, a leader in non-toxic home products. He previously served as president and CEO of Burt's Bees, and prior to that, managed the skincare division at Unilever, where among other accomplishments, he helped launch the Real Beauty campaign for Dove. This is relevant because it demonstrates John's deep and long-standing commitment to offering choice to the thoughtful and conscientious consumer, something that is evident throughout his career. John received his AB in government from Dartmouth and later earned an MBA from Harvard, graduating with distinction. John. Thank you, Dean Helbley. Congratulations, graduates, and welcome families. What a wonderful day for celebration. Sixty years ago, Dartmouth President John Sloan Dickey implored his students that the world's troubles are your troubles, and there is nothing wrong with the world that better human beings cannot fix. Here today, you are the better human beings that President Dickey envisioned. With strong hands, compassionate heart, and a sharp, fair engineer trained mind, you're well prepared to go out and tackle the problems of the world. You're curious, collaborative, and you have the incredible benefit of a cross-disciplinary education. At Thayer, you've engaged deeply with some of the world's greatest faculty on some of the world's most difficult issues, from energy to water to health delivery and countless others. You are prepared for the privilege of living a life of purpose. Perhaps it's because I don't hold a fair degree that it took me a little longer on my life's journey to figure out the incredible power of blending your life's work with purpose. It is, aside from not studying engines, perhaps one of my few regrets and my singular message for you today. The ability to link work with purpose is as dramatic a shift in life as going from black and white to color. Life is richer, more vivid, and vastly more rewarding. Let me encourage you to define and to find your purpose from this day forward. At there, you've been storing up potential. It's time now to set in motion and be kinetic, to be a spark of positive energy in the world of, of people's lives around you, to protect and defend this precious planet, to tackle the challenges the world faces with your head, your hands, and especially your heart. While most of you have a pile of debt in front of you, and it may not feel this way at this particular moment, but you are incredibly blessed. For you see, you are amongst the best educated and most able one-tenth of one percent of the seven billion people with whom we share this planet. I hope you take to heart that service is the price we pay for the privilege of living on this planet. It is also the rich reward of living a purposeful life. You worked hard and no doubt you're thinking about that debt. Uh, and you may be torn right now between going out and making the most money and making the most of your life by pursuing your passion for making a difference. As you make this deliberation today and in the days ahead of you, let me remind you that there exists to prepare the most capable and faithful for the most responsible positions and the most difficult service. You are the capable. You are the faithful and the responsible. Indeed, you are an extraordinary class living in extraordinary times. It is now your time to move from the center of Dartmouth to the center of the world. I wish you all extraordinary lives, filled with great passion and great purpose. Go out and make yourselves, your families, your classmates, and your alma mater proud. I wish you well, and remember, 
you always have a home at Dartmouth. Now go out and kick some butt. Thank you.